The states of Bavaria and Hesse have just held elections for their respective state assemblies, and I just know you are excited to know the results. I mean, of course you are, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. So, was this a triumph for the populist right, or did the mainstream parties stand firm? Let's begin with Bavaria. These are the parties taking part, and the glass ceiling that you see here represents the 5% threshold. Any party that gets 5% of the vote is guaranteed at least one seat in the assembly. Now, obviously, this doesn't apply to other, which of course isn't a party. It's all of the other small parties put together. So these are the results of the 2018 election, with the CSU represented here by the black column, the largest party with 37.2% of the votes. They formed a governing coalition with the Free Voters, the party represented here in orange. The CSU exists only in Bavaria and on a federal level forms a single parliamentary group with the CDU. It's a little more conservative than the CDU, but still counts as one of the mainstream parties. The Free Voters is a relatively small party that has most of its support in Bavaria and Rhineland-Palatinate. It made headlines a couple of months ago when certain revelations surfaced about its Bavarian leader, Hubert Aiwanger. Basically, when he was a teenager, he was caught with a homemade satirical flyer in his school bag which announced a competition to find the fatherland's greatest traitor. First prize was a free flight through a chimney at Auschwitz. Aiwanger handled the resulting scandal very badly indeed, and thanks also to some of the frankly bizarre things he said in his political career, has gained a reputation for being uncomfortably close to the hard-right AFD. The party itself does campaign on a reform of the EU, a crackdown on organised crime, and more controls on immigration. But it also wants to encourage environment-friendly technologies and is open to the idea of legal cannabis or not. Actually, different party members have made conflicting statements about that subject. Also, just a few days before the election, the free voters in my constituency put out a statement condemning Ivanger's views. It seems that all is not well within the party. So here's how the election changed things. As widely predicted, the AFD made strong gains, but so did the free voters. The CSU did make some losses, but only by 0.2 percentage points, and this means that the existing coalition can continue. Whether it's a good idea to have somebody like Ivanger in government remains to be seen. All the other parties made noticeable losses, with the FDP even failing to make the 5% threshold. There seems to have been a general shift to the right, and in any case, the electorate is motivated to punish the SPD, the FDP and the Greens, who are the coalition partners in the federal government. Moving on to Hess, this was the result of the 2018 election, with the CDU and Greens in a governing coalition. The free voters are much weaker in Hess, with around 3% of the vote. This year, the CDU vote share went up from 27% to 34.6%, while the Green vote fell. And just as I was writing the script for this video, the CDU announced that they would be starting talks with the Greens to continue their coalition. A conservative green coalition might seem unlikely, but in German politics is actually nothing particularly unusual. As the Hessian minister president pointed out, it's actually quite sensible to continue working with the people that you've been working with for the past five years. The AFD managed to increase their vote share to 18.4%. That's almost four points higher than in Bavaria. And that can probably be explained by the free voters. Because in Hess they're so much weaker, they didn't split the hard right vote. In Bavaria, the free voters picked up over a quarter of a million votes from the CSU. If the free voters didn't exist, it's possible that those votes might instead have gone to the AFD. The AFD, though, is counting this as a victory. These results show that it is gaining ground in former West Germany. And in both states, it is going to be the biggest party in opposition. However, for now at least, it looks as if the existing coalitions will be able to continue. In short, these results are in line with current trends. 
But I think that the government in Berlin needs to understand that voters are very unhappy right now. Elections for their respective state house. The states of Bavaria. The states of Bavaria and Hessen just had a sentence. Some of its uh, members have made conflicting statements on that particular subject.